So I'm laying in this hillside, the treed hillside behind the uh, the foreground, and my colors really are, um, you know, I washed it in with, uh, what was it, uh, cobalt blue and burnt sienna. Uh, I have two types of burnt sienna, one I'm not happy with at all. It's even just add a bit of white to it and it's just not very intense at all. Uh, the second is Windsor Newton which is sort of my go-to paint brand and I use that and it's far more intense. So I washed it in with cheap stuff which is fine, I just needed to tone it down. Now I'm painting it in using the Windsor Newton. Uh, it's amazing the difference in quality between different brands of paint. So, what I'm doing, and I've already screwed it up a little bit, I, I prefer to have this a little darker on top. I'm not going to go over too much of what I've got there because by the time we're done with it, it may have worked out okay. But, I wanted it to be a little darker at the top because I want it to be darker than the sky. I don't want a huge dramatic difference but there needs to be somewhat of a difference. I've got a bit of an imaginary line here. Well, imaginary. I've, I've washed it in. And below that line, I'm going to raise my value a little bit. Just because, in my mind, having it a little darker towards the top gives you a strong line and having you know two different values or more than two but going higher in value towards the bottom helps to round out the hill. If it's too flat it's a little too cartoonish and my style often has a cartoonish look to it. So I don't see so well you kind of you, you tread a thin line there and you want to be careful or I want to be careful when I do that. Now, I'm not going to drag you screaming, screaming and kicking through the entirety of painting this background area. But I'm just going to do a short stretch. On top, and then paint directly below it. To help to illustrate, or to help illustrate the effect that it will have. And I'm not intending to paint individual trees, but I certainly do want some shapes in there, you know? It has to be interesting. It occupies enough space on the canvas that it has to, it has to, uh, it has to capture your eye. There, has, there have to be areas that you look at and you interpret as, as this or as that. Okay, I should stop filling in there. All right, so... So I've done from here to here basically with with the, the cobalt blue and burnt sienna. Now I'm going to add a little more white to it. It's so easy to add too much white to that and then it just goes pasty. Is that too white? It's too light. For the moment it's too light. If I go too light now then I'll leave myself no room to raise the value even further. So I'm kind of imagining bush shapes as I, as I, as I work along here. I like vertical strokes for the most part because to my mind, these are not really deciduous trees. But it's good to break up 
it's good to break up your brush strokes a little bit. You just, you know, in this painting, I don't want all kinds of vertical strokes. I'd like to have a bit of a variety. So I've got a little higher value here. I don't want to go too high a value because where it's going to meet up with the foreground, which is going to catch quite a bit of sun, I still want a significant change in value from these rocks to these trees. And the more significant the change in value, the more these rocks are going to pop, as they say. And that's a very effective way of drawing attention to an area. Okay, I've got a little blow, a little bluer here for a few strokes. You know, it really again, it, it, we're coming down to variety. Always trying to provide little bits of variety here and there. Keep the painting interesting. It's sort of a fine balance because. I want, I want to keep the painting interesting, but I don't want this to be so interesting that it competes with, with the rocks in the foreground. Anyway, I just thought I'd do that real quick demo for you. Uh, next time you see it, oh, I haven't worked on the sky anymore, but it's, it's because there's so much raw umber and it's dried now. And uh, I thought, I'm just going to go ahead with these background trees uh, before I finish the sky. Um, because the more paint you have on, on a painting, the more reference you have for the next bit of new paint that you put on the painting. And so I thought, I would just start to work in there. Look at that. Too many finicky little brush strokes and spots. Gotta remember to be strong. Okay. That's enough. Have a good weekend, guys. Or have a good Sunday, I guess. I think tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna go motorcycling with a friend out in the bush. Talk to you soon. See you.